All right, hey guys, this here is Getaway Driver 101. So I went ahead and recently just purchased one of them um, heat sinked fans. Now these here are by Nexigo. And from what I understand, Nexigo is a PlayStation, like PlayStation literally 100% says they're okay. So, I went ahead and got one, see how they were for the five, for people who have fives and may or may not have been having problems with theirs getting hot, or maybe have been worried about theirs getting hot. Me, I just recently bought mine. I wanted to last a long time, so I'm one of them people. Uh, I'll, I'll keep upgrading it and upgrading it and upgrading it until it's basically like A1 shape. I'm going to be changing these out here soon and getting dark plates, which we'll be having... Uh, fan shrouds here cut out for the fan to allow more airflow to be shoved through the console so I'm, I'm doing all internal fan upgrades and these here are one of the best ones that I've found so far for a cheap price this here is $20 on Amazon just make sure it's by Nexigo and make sure it's the vertical stand not the horizontal the horizontal and the vertical is the same thing you can get them either way it does not matter they'll both work and they both clip in the exact same way and they're both the exact same one. The only difference is, is one comes with uh, horizontal clips for the console. Whew, I can feel heat coming out of that sucker now. Oh, on my finger. Seeing if there was a button up there for the thing. I know there's a button down here, which allows me to turn it off. For some reason, I get tired of hearing it. And then you can turn it right back on. Now, the thing is, though, is it pulls 500 amps. It is an exhaust fan. You got to make sure that you read and find print because they have some fans out there that are designed for, like, people who live in, like, Canada or who live in like up north areas that are very cold that have heat blocks that will and do an inversion blow which will blow actually air in the opposite way which in turn will heat your console now you want to make sure that you go through all fine prints on anything you get for your console that includes uh, SSDs or heat sinks if you get an SSD you got to make sure it has a heat sink or you can actually damage your console the internals of it because a console can actually have an overload so you want to make sure that it does not matter how powerful an SSD is you want for me I would preferably get the most power for one of them all and when I say the most powerful one of them all I would say the most powerful one of them all and I'm gonna go ahead and boot up No Man's Sky But yes, when you get an SSD, you want to make sure it has a heat sink and you want to get the most powerful one. Now, you also want to look at storage space. Don't get a 500 gig if you're planning on trying to keep your console running at high speeds. If you want your console to keep running at high speeds, if you get an SSD, you want to make sure you get one that runs at the highest one that there is for the PS5 that comes with a heat sink. Now, you can also do a little bit of looking into and it should tell you how many bits per second uh the faster the bits per second usually the better the drive usually not always the case because sometimes they're uh i guess you could say technology error human error stuff like that can cause damage amongst them and you know make them not work as well as they should uh, that includes PlayStations or Xboxes or really anything including computers because sometimes machines will put these together, not people, and they use wicked metal on the inside. And wicked metal, well, is like solder. If it gets too hot, it can actually dissolve and actually re wickify and cause damage to the internals of the system. So you never want your system to get over uh, usually 200 and... 75 or 280 degrees which is equivalent to starting a fire so that is at the point you could start a fire with something 
and that includes TVs, computers, sound systems. Uh, I have an old one here that I've had to rewire a few times because it's quit working on me. Um, so all I can suggest is, is you make sure that if you have one that some, for some reason gets hot, that you look into either what model it is or you look into what fan it may have because some of the PlayStation 5s have three fans and two cooling racks and one of the cooling racks has five less fins inside the internals of the console versus the fan blade. The fan blade can be a 17 shroud and if you have the higher fin rate, it could work and cool down normally, but that's not always the case because of human error. Uh, because people do uh, build machines that build these, which in return machines can, you know, not always put things together as well. And there's multiple other people on YouTube or Twitter or Instagram or anywhere else that you look that could tell you that. But yeah, thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed, and I will see you later.